first thing we're going to do is grab potassium permanganate and mix it with water just like this then I'm gonna mix it all up then I'm gonna put dish soap inside of this tube just like this then I'm gonna put potassium permanganate in this tube nice mix it all up next what I got here food grade hydrogen peroxide I'll put it in a small container right here now we're gonna grab that hydrogen peroxide and put it inside of here Whoa. Boom, look at this, this is insane. Whoa, let's try this again. That's another way to make elephant toothpaste. Pretty awesome, but I feel like it was a little bit of fail. Let's try to put a little bit more potassium permanganate. Hydrogen peroxide, 35% food grade, and let's go. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? They just popped out so fast, that was awesome. Whoa, this is awesome. Well, here you go. There's another way to make uh, elephant toothpaste. Please do not try this at home. So I got here a piece of sodium metal and a water. Let's see what happens. Woo! That's insane. Do you see how little piece of was there? That's crazy. So please do not try this at home. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Piece of sodium metal and... Wow, this one didn't pop that much. Woo, that's insane. And let's do this one more time. First, we're going to put white vinegar inside of the beaker, just like this, that should be enough. Then I'm gonna get a highlighter and squeeze out all the highlighter into the white vinegar. And then we're gonna grab an egg and put it inside of a vinegar with a highlighter and keep it there for like a few hours till the shelf gets all dissolved. So if I burn up black light, you see it's all super bright. So it's close in the UV light, pretty awesome, huh? Okay, it's been a couple days, time to take out the egg. Boom, and look at this. Now look at this, all this shell just got dissolved. Pretty crazy, huh? Gotta be careful not to pop that egg. So here's the UV light, and look at this egg. Wow, it's just glowing. And it's squishy too, look at this and bouncy egg. Check this out, glow in the dark, bouncy egg. Super cool, I love this. Probably wanna wear gloves because it's a little messy. So glow in the dark, bouncy rubber egg, love this. Now of course, we gotta pop this egg so you see it's actually an egg. So boom, check this out, you see it's an egg. So I got here hydrogen peroxide, 30% or 35%. Pour it in a bigger, in a picker, just like this. Then I'm just gonna get potassium permanganate, just a little bit of it. Whoa, check this out. Look at this smoke. This is so cool. What do you guys think? Of course, stay in a ventilated room like I am. Pretty awesome. Look at this smoke. So I cut up few fuses and then I'm gonna put them small fuses around the taller fuse just like this. So we're gonna line up all the fuses like this and then I'm gonna put the longer one over here and then I'm gonna wrap it up all tight in foil. And then I'm gonna wrap this up in a duct tape. Then I'm gonna grab a stick and duct tape it to a stick. And now I'm gonna test it out, see if it's gonna work or not. Okay, and now we're gonna stick it into the ground and light it up and we'll see it with, if it will work. Again, I'm not sticking it too deep so it can actually fly up. And as you can see, I'm putting it in the angle so it will fly away. And again, there is a lot of fuse out there so I have plenty of time to walk away from this. All right, let's do this. Woo! Did you see that? That 
was success. So check this out. I got here two cast iron lasted balls. It's solid, it's pretty heavy. And what we're gonna do is, what if I'm gonna grab two balls like this and hit it next to each other? Nothing happens. Again, nothing happens. But what if I'm gonna grab aluminum foil and wrap it around, wrap it up with aluminum foil, just like this. Really, really tight, tight as I can. And now do the same thing. Woo! Did you see that explosion? Wow! That's so awesome. That's crazy. Now let's do this in the dark. Amazing. Okay, I dimmed the light a lot and now let's start this to do this again. Whoa! That's so crazy. There's so many sparks. Ow! That's crazy. Wow. I gotta do this in slow motion. Wow. That's so insane. Do you see how many sparks there's coming from? Woo! You can even start fire with that, I bet. That's so awesome. That's insane. Again. So check this out, this is icy water, room temperature water, and this is gonna be boiled water, I just boiled it. You see it's steaming up, it's a very very hot water, boom, just boiled it. Then we're going to activate three different glow sticks and put them in the water with the different temperature. And let's see what happens. As you can see right now, they're pretty much the same brightness. So this one is gonna go in the hot water, this one is gonna go in the medium water, and this one is gonna go in the cold water. Now, let's see what happens. So it's been about a minute, look at this difference. Hot water, super bright. Medium water, the same. And the cold water, it's almost not bright at all. So now let's switch this out. Grab this one and put it in the cold water. And this one, put it in the hot water. Let's see what happens. It's turning off slowly and this one is getting way, way brighter. Pretty insane, huh? Let's give it a minute. Now as you can see in the hot water, this glow stick is super bright now. This is the same and this one got less brighter now. Pretty insane, huh? So what will happen if you put balloons in a vacuum chamber? Woo! Awesome! They just pop inside of it. Love it. Now I'm gonna let all the air out. I'll let the one survive and see what happens. Look, it got smaller, even smaller than it used to be. So awesome, look at this. The egg, look at that. boom, this and look so at this. Cool. Look how much wow, it it's just glowing. And wow, it's squishy really too, look at, look at this. And bouncy egg. Check this oh out. 